Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. We have the star in reverse, so we have Aquarius energy. Can you see that? Looks a bit bright, hold on. I think it's okay. Okay, what else please? So, you know, your person might be feeling a little bit hopeless at this time, or depending on what else comes out, they could be saying they know they, they have a particular goal in mind with you, but they're not sure entirely how to get there at this time saw some of this energy last time i think it was wednesday that they're trying to hear their inner voice but struggling a little bit yeah i don't know if you've had like a falling out as far as they're concerned but they're saying well that's not right that's not how this was supposed to go i i don't want to be um left in in your past you know i don't want this to be completely over so six of cups reverse justice reverse libra energy the will of fortune um so we have sagittarius here as well so your person is saying Right now they might be feeling a little bit hopeless or a little bit um, directionless and they're hoping that somehow the universe is going to step in to get you back in touch, to get things back on track, to get them back in your life. Um, if your person is spiritual or religious, they could be actively doing manifestation here or praying, you know, that kind of a thing to try and bring the both of you back together. But they're, they're telling me they feel a little bit like your life is moving on, you're moving forward and um, you're really leaving them in the past. Now, I know you're probably saying that's not true um, and they can move, you know, make a move towards me at any time they like. But um, remember, we're just looking into what they're thinking in this moment. It could be they're feeling a bit sorry for themselves right now, but let's see they're saying this they're not happy with this you know they're not okay with this maybe seeming like it's over okay what else please spirit yeah we have the knight of pentacles in reverse so this is the reason then um, it's more to do with them. This is the reason for them feeling a bit hopeless or a bit lost. They feel completely stuck in the same place in terms of maybe they're not getting any new ideas. They they just, it's, it's almost like they're standing in the middle of a desert. There is nothing as far as the eye can see in any direction. And they're turning around and around and they're saying, what do I do? I have no water. I have no transport. I don't know which direction I'm facing, which direction to head in. But all they know is they don't want to be in the desert. You know, they want to be somewhere where there's people, food, water, um, shade. And they're, they're, you know, that's how they feel. Well, well, where do I go? What do I do? Okay, so perhaps something has happened here that's unique to your connection. So, for example, let's say your person is usually the one who um, disappears or, does, or um, doesn't reach out or ghosts you or something like that. But something here happened and you decided I'm not going to reach out anymore or I'm going to walk away from this for now or I'm going to um, prioritise another aspect of my life. So there, it's like something here has happened that's unfamiliar and they're not sure how to deal with this. They're used to being on the other side, potentially. Um, let's see how we move forward. The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Goodness. The tower, Scorpio energy. They really, really believe you have chosen a future that doesn't involve them, the nine of wands. And they are saying, well, I'm not ready to give up. So if you've been looking for this spite, spiting spirit, <laughs> fighting spirit from your person, if you want to see them, actually show that they do care they do want you in their life then that's the energy you're, you're you know you're going to see from them that's the energy they're in now they're not showing it because they're also it, it's like um you know how anger can be more motivating than um hopelessness that kind of thing so they're moving through it's not quite anger but they're moving into a place where it's almost um
you know when you feel a bit outraged you're not angry because you're quite shocked at the same time it's like this they're saying are you really actually moving forward um no that cannot happen you know that's that's kind of where they are right now um yeah, something that they're really showing me here, the tower with justice in reverse. Something, as far as they're concerned, unexpected happened. And it's not right. It's not how it should be. It shouldn't have happened that way. And with the Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, yes, they're saying, I'm going to fight for this. Even if the universe doesn't step in, well, I will make it happen. They're Nine of Wands, you know. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Um, I know you and I have maybe had fallings out before i know this hasn't exactly been the smoothest ride but i'm still not ready to sit down and give up okay let's see let's go back and get some more information the well in the reverse so for me this card talks about the connection with you know mother earth with inspiration um so you can see and yeah it's literally called the well and i was just talking about water this this person here your person um they're trying to come up with new ideas but it's like they just cannot and again i feel some of this energy from wednesday's reading is, is crossing over spirit is trying to tap them on the shoulder and say here is your inspiration here are your ideas you have an abundance of them but you need to get back into your heart space so you can pick up on them you know they're needing to feel these ideas before they can rationalize them but your person's very much in their their mind right now trying to logically come up with a plan which is understandable but um i think their divine inspiration that they're looking for is coming in the form of feelings it could even be something like you know dreams at night um and, and intuitive downloads um it might be a very new thing for them to to work with with their feelings Okay, the Emperor in reverse, we have Aries here. They're seeing you as being very firm in whatever your intention is here. So whatever position you're in currently, whatever you're showing to them, they understand that this is it. This is serious. You know, this is, you've made, maybe you've made a change and they understand the change is here to stay. They're seeing you as being very proud, not prideful, but proud, successful, um, you know you're really respecting yourself and it's changed something in the dynamic here and that's not to say you haven't always respected yourself but there's a way in which it's really showing more than ever so um you know maybe for some time your person was saying oh you know you'll come back or this will the dust will settle and it will be fine but time has passed and things still are as they were when this tower struck and they're realizing well if i want to move this forward if i want to stay in your life i'm gonna have to fight for it you know this is this is the thing spirit's telling me this is the change in the past maybe you were trying to be in their life you wanted to be in their life and they were sometimes saying yes then saying no and pretending they cared and, and then pretending they didn't or whatever it was you know um and you didn't really know where you stood but now the roles have switched and they're saying they want to be in your life but it's almost like they missed you about so much potentially they feel the door is closed so how do they get back in the king of wands in reverse you may have found at times that your person has been a bit um unyielding a bit unwilling to compromise maybe even a bit proud volatile perhaps maybe out of nowhere they just suddenly explode and you know um you, you just don't really know where you stand and if that's the case you may have let them know that's not okay you may be one of the first people to ever have done this actually and it was like a big slap around the face that they weren't expecting you know not 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 like a really nasty slap but like a slap of um hey you know you need to wake up and look at how you're behaving um and I, I think for a good while they've stood there in shock yeah nine of cups 
So they're saying, my wish is you. My wish is to be in your life. And I, I'm ready, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily quite ready just yet, but I'm trying to be ready. I'm trying to figure out how I can make this happen. I am willing to fight for this. I will fight for this because, you, you know, I'm not letting you get away from me. Um, Nine of Cups, you are my wish. On the back, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So there's a whole bunch of stuff they want to say to you that they're not. Queen of Wands in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse. So if they were honest, what would they say to you right now? They would say, I know I wasn't a team player. I know I have some big decisions to make and I've been trying not to make them. Also queen of wands, king of wands. I feel that you are the one for me. However, I know things aren't perfect between us right now. They're not exactly great and there's some work to be done for us to get back on the same page. Um, maybe, you know, that's probably the way forward. To be honest, that's their plan. That's that's what's going to open that door again with you. But um, for some reason, they haven't realised that yet. Okay. So what is your person doing right now? Lots and lots of thinking, analysing, trying to... Um, you know, just figure out how they can reconnect with you, how they can stop themselves from being a memory or an ex or when you're talking to someone, oh, hey, remember that time when I was dealing with so-and-so? God, wasn't that ridiculous? You know, they don't want to be that person. They don't want to be an anecdote. Um, okay, on the back, we have insecurity. Yes, maybe the reason they haven't come forward and said all these things to you is because they do feel insecure. And look, we have growth. So they are changing. They are growing. Okay. And, you know, to step forward and say these things to you would be massive growth. And it's so funny. We have miracle popping out. So you might be saying, if my person literally came forward and was that honest with me, it would be a miracle. But, you know, it can happen. We have impartiality. So this very much looks like the justice card here. Interesting, let's get one more. Expansion, I know I said one, but I think we should take this too, and acceptance, okay. So it could be that you are very much ready to take almost like a quite an objective look at this to be impartial here and to ask yourself do I feel there has been expansion do I feel that this person has grown that I'm dealing with do I feel that I have grown do I feel that we're ready to move this forward it's like you know in this card here impartiality the gray around it corresponds to the crown chakra so very high level thinking here very evolved thinking um there's something here where you've got to a point where you're not trying to change yourself or your person. You're saying this situation is what it is. I see why we're in the place we are now. What do we need to move to? What do we need to do together separately to move forward? How do we do this? Are we ready to do this? It's almost quite, um, it might sound like a logical take, a logical way of looking at this, but actually it's not that. There are definitely still emotions here. I just feel that um, you've ascended in some way or you're looking at this from a really high perspective here. So you, yeah, you're fully ready to expand here um, and to accept where you are with your person and to do whatever needs to be done to move forward. But you might be saying it's going to take a miracle. Interestingly though, you know, I don't think this miracle is, is that far away because your person is working on expanding, on ascending, on growing. And um, this could take the shape of better communication in all of their connections, friendships, relationships. In fact, it might be that they're testing this out with other people before they come to you. You know, they want to practice a bit first. It could be that they're um, changing work, careers, home, um, whatever they have felt is not how can I phrase it, in alignment with who they are at this time, they're saying, well, I won't just be annoyed about that. I won't just moan about it and grumble about it. I'll actually make a change. So I feel they're growing internally, externally. Um, but there's a lot here that you, you're not seeing yet. Um, okay, so let's have a look then at messages of guidance and advice for you.
So whatever happened between you both, whether it was something that outwardly seems big or not, it was very surprising for your person. And um, if you're wondering, well, what does it mean? Have they given up or are they going to come back changed? They're coming back changed. They're growing here. Um, it might surprise you to know that they've become even more impassioned about you and this connection since whatever happened has happened. Okay, so this is the fountain tarot a gift from corner so we have the seven of wands in the reverse yes okay so if you're taking a very defensive stance spirit is saying it might be time to to think about lowering your guard because one you can begin to trust that your person is showing up in high vibration but two and most importantly you can trust yourself you know you have grown so much and um it's almost like you're going to realize how much after you have again interacted with your person here. So um, trust yourself enough to know that you don't have to put on your armor every time, you know, you step out the house. You, you only need to put the armor on when it's necessary and you're aware enough now to notice if there is potential danger. Also, if you have actually blocked this person in some way, it, you know, it might be time to think about unblocking them because I think they're, they, well, I see, they're thinking about reaching out um, with the Knight of Swords. Okay. What else? Yeah, the Five of Wands in the reverse. So moving past conflict, Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands in reverse. Wow, I see so clearly what's happened. You have pulled right back. Maybe you're normally the initiator when it comes to communication, but you've been doing none of that. You may have been soul searching. You may even have been asking yourself, is this person the one for me? You know, should it, if they were, surely they would put more effort in or it wouldn't have been this difficult, you know, um, or maybe you've been saying, look, I know who this person is to me, they're my soulmate, they're my twin flame or whatever, um, but am I willing to keep doing this, you know? And this person is is uh, seeing this because they're worried that you've gone off on this soul searching journey and you won't come back. Eight of ones in reverse. Yeah, you're willing to talk, you have things to say, but you're definitely not initiating is what I'm seeing. And it's not because you're playing any games, it's because you said, okay, look, I need a break from this. What what are we doing here? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Ace of Cups. Yes, Spirit's saying if you're ready, it's safe to bring your heart back into this situation, to bring love into this, to bring fresh hope into this situation. You know, if you feel that you have been... Um, you know, again, a bit like this guy in the Nine of Wands, on guard, feeling defensive, protecting yourself, you can, you can relax, um, because that, being in that energy can be exhausting, you know? Um, yeah, I'm seeing spirits asking you to, if you're ready again, to move into a softer energy here, a receptive energy. Page of coins in the reverse, seven of cups, king of cups, okay. So two things you were cross about, or maybe you just really became tired of, is lack of um, action, initiative, communication from your person, and also um, a lack of them offering anything. Not that you needed a material gift, but a show of emotion or, you know, maybe they just weren't offering you anything of themselves. And there's only so far you can get with someone who is being that way. You know, you could maybe just talk to them for 30 seconds in passing. You're not getting beyond, are you? Um, okay, so that's what I'm seeing. So Spirit is saying, while you have been in this separation, while you have been doing lots of thinking, soul searching, what, what did you realise? You know, when you thought about how you wished this situation was with your person what kinds of fantasies daydreams or even dreams at night what came up because we're shifting our focus now okay yes there has been struggle and conflict but if we're if you are saying okay i'm ready for this i'm ready to open my heart again that's something i want to do where do we go from here we're not looking back we you know again you have your boundaries firmly in place um you're very wise now so 
there's no worry that you're going to lose any of that. That's just with you. That's part of you now. So thinking about where you want to see this go, your ideal goal, hope, what does that look like? You know, see, we're moving into this softer energy now. We're moving into this receptive energy where we're saying, this is how I want it to be. And I'm open again and I'm willing to let this come in because we have the king of cups you know for some of you what you want is to see you know your person has all these feelings and this emotion and you just want to see some of this so you know you can you can give it to them they can give it to you that that kind of thing um so i suppose if we're talking about manifesting the law of attraction the law of assumption start assuming the best start assuming that what you're hoping for is going to come in because if you're in separation it, it could really go either way you know you could assume oh we're going to repeat the same pattern you could assume i'm going to get my wish fulfillment so in the absence of fact why not assume hey this is going to go my way now because we've both had time we've both been thinking and we have both grown anything else for the seven of cups please Yeah, the world. Absolutely. Spirit is saying you have completed a cycle, both of you together and independently, because even if one of you completes a cycle together, you cannot repeat the same cycle because one of you at least is showing up differently. But I'm seeing both of you have made a huge shift. Things are much more, much more balanced now um, between you. So where do you want to go from here? This is your advice. I would say if you're not clear, if you're not sure, now is a good time to think about it. You know, you could journal, you could do, um, you know, when you, you take time out to basically imagine that you you really get into it and you um, you you ask yourself, how would it feel? You know, you really imagine it's happening. So you could do it that way. Um, how else? I don't know, really. How, how else do people decide something in terms of trying to figure something out? I don't know. Whatever works for you, try that in terms of asking yourself, okay, let me get clear on what I want next. What do I want to see coming in now? Because the energy is here for a fresh new beginning. The world is completion. The Ace of Cups is, okay, beginning again. And it's, it's a very heart-centered new beginning. Okay. If you, yeah, if you have ideas of you know, maybe if you're comfortable sharing, I, if I was trying to figure this out, I would do this or that, maybe leave them below, um, because I can really only think of those two, writing, journaling, and also just sitting down and imagining, so, you know, I know there have got to be more. Okay, so let's get you a couple of oracle messages before we go, this is the Affirmators um, oracle deck. I don't think we need an extended today, really. Oh my goodness, we have power. And this, look at this, before I even read it, I haven't seen this card before. It's Tank, that's also a dinosaur, but it has hearts all over it and the peace sign. So you see how you've been pushing forward, you've been doing battle here, you're all geared up, ready to do more battle and spirit, saying actually, what's gonna serve you now and the energy you're very much invited to be in now, to move into, is a much more peaceful energy because it, it's safe to do so now. Okay, so it says, I am strong, I am grounded, I am powerful. I am like a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank that's used for war. I am, I am like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but be. Isn't that incredible? That's literally what, you know, this whole reading has been about. You are strong you are empowered you have your boundaries in place you do respect yourself so there's nothing more you need to do it's as much a part of you those things are as much a part of you as you know your fingernails and um your arms your legs your hair your eyes they just are you so yeah okay and these are the therapets um Cards. Okay, let's get one of these.
we have two. So we have. <laughs> this is um, this is not a card. This is the the message that, that comes with the deck. So. Yeah, don't think we need to read that. I guess that's why we have to. I was just thinking if there was anything that was relevant, but no, not really. Okay, whatever happens today, you will make it through. And we have an owl. So an owl could be significant. They also talk about wisdom. So yeah, whatever happens, whenever you're watching this or in the future, you will make it through. You've made it through so much already. You can make it through more. And you know, that makes it sound like there's going to be a struggle. As far as this connection is concerned, it's getting easier from here. And look how we have all this pink um, heart-based energy here for the heart chakra. Okay, so um, that's it for the reading. I'm about to move into the one question, one card answers. Um, so if you're heading off, thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful. Like I said, no no need for an extended today, I don't think. Um, if you're sticking around, I'm going to clear this away and then we'll get to the winners. So, um, yeah, see you soon. Okay, so thank you for your questions, everybody. Today's winners are Sky Meadow 717 We have Louise S. and we have Natasha Wright. So let's begin with Sky Meadow 717 So you have said, was I in love with a false twin flame for over a year so when people ask me you know for example is this a twin is it a karmic is it a false twin you know is it is it a twin flame bond is it a soulmate bond is it a trauma bond i always say yes we can definitely have a look into that but let yourself be the highest authority here because if you're really really feeling something and to be honest you can't prove these things can you to somebody else but if you feel it and someone else is telling you something differently that that's incredibly stressful you know and that's the sort of thing that's going to drive you crazy so and no one is you nobody knows how it feels to be in your body and have the feelings you're having so let yourself be the highest guide but we can definitely have a look and see what comes out so spirit please show us was sky meadow 717 in love with a false twin flame for over a year We have the Hierophant in reverse, so Taurus energy there. You know, another thing is sometimes spirit likes to play games and you might think, oh, so-and-so is my twin. And then you think, oh my God, I was mistaken there. They were a false twin. And then you realize, hold on, no, I think they're my twin because there, <laughs> there's, there was some sort of lesson in there that you picked up on while you were thinking they were a false twin or, you know, that sort of thing. So you really have to, you know, trust yourself more than what anybody else is saying. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. So it looks to me like this person was a bit of a player, potentially, or they were definitely more interested in doing what they wanted to do on their time, and there was no sense of stability or commitment or grounding here. And it caused you a lot of pain, and that's maybe why you're saying, look, was, is, is this, have I got this wrong? This has been so painful, um, and I feel that it didn't really take off. So, um, okay, let's see. We have the Lovers in the reverse. The Queen of Wands. Something about this has definitely made you strong or stronger. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Four of Cups. This isn't over. I don't know. <laughs> don't know if you want to hear that. It's not over. The reading we just had very much applies to you, I think. We've got the Four of Cups reversed, King of Cups, King of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles. Um, so, you know, what we just saw in, in the main reading is that there's a a desire to reconnect to offer something serious um and your person here is saying king and queen of wands we're a great match um i think what i'm seeing more you know that whole sort of spiel i just did about spirit being up to stuff by making us think a person is isn't is isn't that sort of thing that's kind of what i'm getting here your journey is still not over with this person more is going to unfold the lovers is definitely or can be if you're looking at twin flames a twin flame card here you know it talks about um divine union the and a balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies together and each within yourselves um it's in the reverse so i feel this is a divine connection 
it's not over. What I feel is happening though, there is something that's being brought to surface and worked through in your shadow sides here. The lovers is very similar to the devil. And when it's in reverse, I kind of feel that we're somewhere between the devil energy and the lovers. So um, whatever this is, it's definitely helping you to uh, stand in your power here. I mean, you could be realizing things about yourself, your goals, your dreams, your spiritual gifts, you know, really anything here. Um, it's, it's more like there's a pause. There is communication that will be coming in. Um, I can't say yes or no, is this a twin flame or not, because I'm just not seeing enough confirmation um, or information either way. But I do feel it's a high level connection and I feel there's more to um, evolve here and that will help you hopefully to know what sort of connection this is. Um, so yeah, I mean, not super helpful in the fact that I haven't said yes or no, but hopefully there's enough information to do something with. Okay, so let's have a look at Louise S. So you have said, will I have a face-to-face -face meeting with my divine masculine by the end of 2021? <clears throat> so let's see. Spirit, will Louise S. have a face-to-face -face meeting with the divine masculine by the end of 2021? So what's the likelihood of this, please? You have the Page of Pentacles, we have Justice in Reverse, Four of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Cups. You know, I'm getting that your um, Divine Masculine, maybe at times you have thought this person's a bit lazy. They haven't really offered enough. Even when they're seeming like they're working with you, in harmony with you, being a team player, they're kind of not bringing enough to the table. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Wands, Five of Cups. Okay, something is going to happen here and you're going to think, great, it's been a really long time of waiting. Finally, this is happening. But whatever it is that happens, you might think it's not good enough. So it's almost, and you're not disappointed you're showing up as the queen of wands it's almost like you're saying are you kidding no you need to go away and think again you know um let me see the lovers in reverse yeah i think your person is going to offer something maybe it will be a face-to-face -face meeting but you realize they've still got growing to do you know the lovers in reverse that shadow energy i was just talking about you you're not on the same vibration you know you have you're a bit further um along in one aspect or another in in whatever it is that comes up for you so okay let me see nine of wands reversed seven of cups in reverse eight of swords it could be, when I was saying you may be a bit further along in one aspect or another, it could be specifically with the ability to communicate your desires here and your wish. Um, you're very ready to do that. Maybe you have been for a while. And I feel your person, without really looking into it, I'm not sure what the blockage would be, but it's almost like they're doing something practical. With pentacles, that's why I feel, yes, it could well be a face-to-face -face meeting here. But it's about what happens when you have that meeting. They're kind of not bringing enough. Um, and it's it's like you say, look, with all sort of, um, with, with compassion and respect and love, this isn't enough for me for now. So um, if you go away and you decide you want to meet again or talk again and there's something more to be said, okay, fine. But for now, this is not really doing it for me. Yeah, there's something here about communication. And you see, we have the devil, we have the empress as well, both in reverse and strength. You may well, yes, have a face-to-face -face meeting, but but I just have to give you a heads up that um, it might it might disappoint you a little bit, but I don't see it devastating you. Um, and I don't see it being something necessarily that causes an ending it's more like a check you know you meet it's a check-in how are we doing oh actually i think there's still some growth that needs to happen and it's something about communication you, you feel that your person is still not you know your divine masculine is still not 
being as maybe open or expressive with their communication as they could be or as you would require them to be. Okay, so Natasha Wright says, has my person ever had the, turn the page, intention of being in a relationship with me? Okay, so Spirit, what do you have to say please to Natasha? So has her person ever had the intention of being in a relationship with her? The hanged man in the reverse. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. This person seems to be wounded. Um, it's almost like they're actually, they've been scared to ask themselves how they feel about you. They know, they know, they, they feel it, but they don't want to think about it. Five of Cups. Your person knows that whatever they're doing in terms of love, romance, connections in that sense is always disappointing. They never really feel seen. They always feel let down. The connections always end. But they have this sense that somewhere in their peripheral vision is the Two of Cups, which we know is that soul connection. But they've been afraid to turn and look at it because they feel if they look at it and they see the truth of this, somehow it's going to wound them. You can see how the hands are holding the blade and obviously there's a lot of blood. So at some point in the past, perhaps, um, you know, your person was very open-hearted, whether it was with a romantic partner, a friend, a parent, um, and they were wounded. So instead, with the Knight of Wands, you know, they're, they're, I guess, going after temporary satisfaction that always ends up disappointing them. Um, okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, did they lead you on or sort of make you feel that you know, that you were always one step away from being with them and it kept you, it kept you holding on. Three of Cups. We have Page of Swords reversed, the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, okay. So the re if they did lead you on, or if that's how you felt, the reason they did this is because actually they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. That is not just a relationship. This is, you know, the relationship that you're in you know, for the rest of your life and you, you build together, you have, a, you know, family, whatever family means or looks like to you, you have a home and shared memories, experiences, you know, everything. But that was scary. So they were saying, don't go, you know, you're my two of cups, you're my, you're my person here. But at the same time, the, to even sit down and really think about having everything with you is terrifying. So I'm not going to do that either. I think it's safe and best if we just stay in this place of limbo here. Page of Swords in reverse, that's, you know, when you don't have all the facts, um, you, there's more to ask, more to learn, more to research, more to think about, and that is underneath the Ace of Swords. So your person was deliberately saying, I know I need to sit down and think about this, but no, I don't even want to go there. I'm happy um, in this place of not really knowing. And that's where you ended up being as well with them. So, you know, did you say, did you or do they? Let me check. Yeah, has your person ever had the intention? Okay, they have and they still do. But what I would say is until or unless there's some kind of self-reflection and healing that goes on within them, until that happens, um, I think you might find that you, you feel like you're stuck in this place of limbo where they don't want to let you go, but things never get really serious between you in any sort of way because um you know obviously they're afraid of that and they're not communicating this to you so it might look to you like they're playing games so let me just see what's your advice then Ten of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Three of Wands. Okay, 
it's almost like tough love here. It's saying this cycle needs to end. Ten of Wands, it's been heavy, it's done. I'm releasing this to the universe. Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's all about you. You know, you're giving to yourself, you're doing things for you, you're not giving to your other to this person, you're not thinking about them. Um, and I, I think that's going to get their attention, you know, and then we get the three of wands. So that's you saying, now, what do I want to bring in? I've made space for it to come in because I'm I'm not repeating the old energy. That cycle is over. I've been sitting here, giving to myself, asking myself questions about what I want to see moving forward. So now I'm ready. Now I have both the intention, the focus, and I have the space for this. So um, I think change within your connection will happen through you so you've got to make the change within yourself first and that's going to impact this connection because um otherwise i think it's i think you're going to stay stuck in the same place with your person and um them seeing you being in this different energy could well inspire them to say okay well now i have to show up differently and that's going to involve doing some thinking which i've been putting off because i i didn't have to do it you know um so yeah, hopefully that helps. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I hope that you have a lovely weekend. Take care and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.